Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a photo slideshow on your Mac computer. We'll start by clicking the link in the description box below to visit slideshowcreator.net. Click the Mac download button and follow the installation steps to begin using the software. So, to start, choose whether you want to create a montage, which is the easiest way to get a slideshow done. If you click that, you'll simply be asked to add your photos here. Next, you can add one of the built-in music options or drag and drop your own. After that, you can select the transitions you want. A list is provided here. After selecting your preferred transition, you're off to creating your very own slideshow project. Okay, so if you want to access more features for your slideshow, try out full feature mode. Let's go ahead and add the photos here. You'll see that the software automatically lays them out in the timeline. You can zoom in and out by clicking here. Each photo can be adjusted by clicking the edge here. You can also move the photo by dragging it around the timeline. Okay, so you have other options, such as the split button, which is used to cut clips like this. You can rotate like so, crop to your desired view, and other useful options such as color adjustments, transition wizard, record audio, and clip properties. Play around with these to achieve your desired result. While we're in the import window, let's go ahead and add background music as well. Choose a music track you like, drag and drop it to the audio timeline here, just below the video track. You can also import your own music track by clicking File, Add Media Files. To adjust the audio track within the timeline, click the volume button here. For more options such as adding a fade in and fade out and a bunch of other cool stuff, just click on Audio Properties. To add sound effects, click here. Pick a sound you like, drag it to the new audio timeline like so. Just like with the music tracks, you can also import your own. Okay, let's move on to other cool features like filters. Filters add more style to your photos. Just choose a category and select a filter here to preview on the window. Once you've chosen a filter you like, simply drag it to a clip and it will automatically be applied. Next is transitions. All transitions are categorized here and you can preview a transition by clicking on one. Let's choose this one and drag it in between clips. When you play your slideshow, there's now this cool transition from one photo to the next. You can go ahead and add a transition to each clip, or you can use the Transition Wizard to automatically add transitions to all clips based on the settings you define here. Okay, the Titles option lets you add text to your slideshow. Like the previous features, choose a category and the title you'd like to use. The only difference is that you drag a title to its own timeline here. Once it's there, you can simply move it to any location on the timeline. You can edit the text by double-clicking the clip and make changes in the preview window. You'll also see other options here on top. There's the clip properties, font properties, color properties, and you can even save your own custom title. So these are the major features of the software you need to know about. There are other features available if you want to go further, like the stickers. Pick one you like, drag it to the Titles timeline. There's also the Callouts. Just like stickers, pick a callout you like, drag it to the timeline. And then there's the Pan and Zoom that you can use if you want to zoom in and out or pan left to right for each of your clips. Try out Chroma Key if you want to make part of your clip transparent. Just pick the color to make transparent, adjust the settings here, and that's it. Finally, when you're done, you can go ahead and click the Export button here. Select your preferred output format and choose the quality of the resolution. You can also save it for specific devices, TVs, or directly upload it to YouTube. When ready to export, click the Start button. So that's it. Making your own slideshow presentation on a Mac is easy with my favorite slideshow creator software. Once again, to begin, click the link in the description box below to visit slideshowcreator.net. And before you go, don't forget to like this video, leave your comments or any questions below, 
and click subscribe for more video editing tutorials. Good luck!